Thank you for tuning in. Thanks for being part of our program. <laughs> Gary says, I timed it. Gary's getting all like uh, defensive about it. Gary, it's not your fault. No, I'm not getting defensive. Okay. <laughs> Gary's getting defensive about being defensive now. No, I'm not defensive. We agreed to 15 seconds. You mean you and I did? Was I drinking at the time? I must have been drinking. I agreed to 15 second billboards. Don't let me do that. Tell me I'm wrong. Just cut me off. Cut off the booze or cut off the billboard. <laughs> Holy cow. Write, write me a book, why don't you? My goodness. Anyway. There. I did it. I read it. I read the billboard. Anyway. By the way, the studio is... Did everything that can go wrong in here is going wrong. The chair is squeaking. Planes are overhead. And I can hear the dogs at the kennel next door... The barking, uh, I'm not making this up, the barking travels through the air conditioning ducts in here. The HVAC ducts carry the sound of the dogs barking. From the adjoining wall we have with the kennel all the way in here. It's kind of like a PA system. So, I don't know if you're hearing it, but in here I'm hearing... All show long. I'm hearing it all through the show. <laughs> well, c couldn't we just do this from a jail cell or something? We can have people like uh, running tin cups across the bars and stuff. I mean. <laughs> <laughs> They have zoning laws here in Culver City? Are you kidding me? I, I, by the way, I'm not making this up. I just heard a dog reacting to me going, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> People think I make this stuff up, and then they walk into the studio going, you're right, I can hear dogs. You're right, I can hear planes. Dean, step in here for a minute. I want you to step in. I just want you to verify for everybody what I'm hearing. Come in, close the door, be quiet, and I'm going to do this one more time. You're going to tell me if you hear what I'm hearing, right? Here we go. Loud and clear. You're hearing it loud and clear. You're not going crazy. You can hear it through the air conditioning vents. Dogs barking. That's great. <laughs> Unbelievable. Okay. I'm still hearing it. Here is a uh, an advice column from the Toronto Star newspaper. Written by someone named Ellie Tesher. I really don't care about Ellie's advice. I always give my own advice when we read a question from an advice column. But here's the question. I'm with a woman who doesn't share my views and thoughts. When I voice my opinion, she ignores me and believes her way is the right way. I live in Waukegan, Illinois, and I plan to move to Chicago in search of a better job and life because she is pregnant. Oh, now we see what they disagree on. Letter writer did not want to have a baby. The girlfriend did. Once again, another example of some woman who was going to shove this decision down the man's throat. And he was supposed to, you know, adjust and be happy and change and become more responsible and all of that. Yes. The, the email continues. He says, but I haven't told her so. Since she won't listen to me. <laughs> Please have an abortion. Huh? Please have an abortion. No. What? No. Please have an abortion. No. We can't afford a baby. Huh? Should I not tell her and just leave? Or 
Can you suggest the best way to achieve my goal? Sign indecisive. Now, once again, let me give you my advice on this. I'm just amazed at how often questions like this come up. Just because you forgot to put the little raincoat on your dope, just because you had sex with somebody who doesn't choose to use birth control and you didn't bother to have a conversation with them about this, doesn't mean you are obligated to stay with them. It does not mean you are obligated to stay with them. Your only obligation is a legal one. And uh, if she has that baby, which she apparently is going to have, You'll be on the hook for child support. That's the law. It is your legal responsibility to pay that bill. And my recommendation to you, much as I detest the idea that women push us into having children when we're not ready, or maybe we'll never be ready, push us into being family men when we don't want to be, or push us into being in relationships or marriages when we don't want to be, I don't believe you should go hide from the law. They're going to get you. They're going to uh, garnish your wages. They're going to take your bank account. They're going to do whatever they have to do. Take your professional licenses, depending on what state you're in. So you're going to be uh, on the hook for that money. You might as well just pay it, because they're going to get it from you one way or the other. But you don't have to stay there. You don't have to support her. You don't have to be in the middle of this. You can just get the hell out if you want to. Even if you want to be involved as a parent, you do not have to live with her and pay her bills. You can simply pay the amount you're legally required to pay and then take the visitation you get and see the kid on the days when you're able to, if that's what you want. Or if you don't want to, you don't have to. This is not complicated. And you do not owe her an explanation. Do ya? Tom Likas. Come on. 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. It's John on a cell phone. Hello. Hello, John. No, you're John. Wait, 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 wait. wait. You, I know you're messed up. You're John. I'm Tom. I'm sorry. Woo. My mind's crazy. I know. The Tom Like His Ship. It's the Tom Like His Show. I got 800 800 tom Thank you for tuning in. Thanks for being part of the program. I'm getting emails from people saying that uh, their dog was barking. I'm getting a lot of these. I'm driving their dog crazy. Sorry. Literally, I got about six emails where people telling me to stop doing that because their dog is going crazy. I used to own a dog. What can I say? It's one eight hundred five eight hundred. Tom, all right. She gets pregnant. You don't want to have a baby. Do you need to stay around? Do you need to tell her what your plans are? Can you just say, "Look, the check is in the mail. I'm out of here." Lauren on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hi, Tom. Hi. Hi. Love your show. Thank you. Um, I'm just calling because I was commenting on the the email you were talking about. Yeah, I don't think it's ridiculous for men to have to stay with women if they like women get them stuck in relationships and it's ridiculous. Like I don't understand it. It's just it's I don't understand women. We need to teach these women a lesson because many of them are having the baby to keep us in relationships we don't want to be in. Yeah, exactly. It's just, it's, they'll just trick them into getting into it, and it's just wrong. It's, they shouldn't have to, and men should be able to do what they want. And so, it's, I don't know, it's just... If I knock somebody up, and I yeah. said, please have an abortion, Yeah. and and she said no, I'd say, okay. Yeah, exactly. You know, yeah, tell me, send me an invoice, completely. send yeah. me an invoice, <laughs> Yeah. I'm stuck paying, but that's it. Yeah. So, um, sorry, I'm a little bit nervous. I've never gotten a hold of you before. I'm just really excited. <laughs> but, um, really? Yeah. What? Really? Yeah. Um, so, um, yeah, but, um, women, like, they'll just get in relationships with men and then they'll want a child and it's just, they just trap them and it's not right. So. That's right. Yeah. So, but, um, 
I'm just really nervous. I'm trying to think of what to say. So. Well, maybe you've run out of things to say. I know. And you know what happens when that happens? Yeah, I know. Uh, what what phrase do I say? Huh? What do I say when you run out of things to say? What do I say? What when do I, I say? say? What do I say? Oh, what do you say? Yes. Um. It goes something like this. Thank you for calling. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom is our telephone number. It's Mike on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hey Tom, you are the best. Let me tell you that. Thank you, Mike. Yeah, uh, I knocked the woman I knocked up was seven years ago, and uh, nothing but trouble since the day I met her. I, you know why I got her pregnant doesn't matter, but uh, we went through court finally about five years ago, and the judge didn't realize that we had not been married. So before he got to the child support. He goes, okay, now for alimony, uh, it's going to be 1200 and some odd dollars a month. And my lawyer goes, but Your Honor, they weren't married. Oh, well, never mind that. But she would have had me for not only 650 bucks a month child support, but almost 1250 a month for, for alimony. Yeah, see, that's why you don't have, they, people say, well, I, I did the right thing. No, the right thing is to not get married, because if you get married, you're going to be on the hook for probably more than you win in child support. Oh, yeah, and had we gotten married, I guarantee you we would have been divorced long ago. And then, then she'd be at home getting fat. She's already fat, but she'd be living off me. You'd be paying. Oh, yeah, big time, big time. And, I mean, she's been nothing but trouble at 650 a month, and, and here she would have had, you know, three times that. No doubt about it. Yeah, easy. Thank you, Mike. Thank you, Tom. Appreciate the call. It's Paul on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hey, Tom. Hey. I think that guy should hold off on moving to Chicago until after he works through all his legal issues with the child support, because if he goes there, starts making some big money, she'll only want more. That's true. She uh, probably will only want more. But look, in, in most states, I, don't, I can't speak for Illinois, but in most states there's a formula. And I would bet Illinois is the same. There's a formula for what percentage of your paycheck is going to go to pay in your child support. Yeah, he's definitely got to get a lawyer and figure it out, but right. uh, hold off if at all possible. Well, never make a move. Never make a move without a lawyer. I, that's what I always say. You're absolutely right. You should get a lawyer, you should find out how much he's on the hook for, and then get the hell out. Absolutely. Blow me up, Tom. Here you go. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. It's Cody on the Tom Likens Show. Hello. Hi, Tom. Hi. Um, currently, I've got a girlfriend, and I I got her pregnant, and um, she's you know she's I didn't want it. She wants it. Um, she decided that well, since I don't want it, that um, she's going to go ahead. She's you know moving out, um, and she doesn't want anything at all from me. At least currently, it doesn't. Well, seem that's like what she all. says now. I don't know. She she seems pretty. Pretty adamant about well, they all, it. Yeah, look, it, it, the, there's no baby yet. The baby is a rumor at this point. Yeah, true. Well, she, you know, she's got. She doesn't know. Right. She doesn't know what it's going to be like living on her own. She's going to have to rent her own place, which she hasn't had to pay for before. Yeah. She's going to well, find out how much it costs to have a baby and maintain a baby. Mm -hmm. It's also possible she'll have a boyfriend or something like that, and the guy will say, "I don't want to pay for th some other guy's kid." Yeah, possibly. I, I and here's the other possibility, that she would get hit by a bus and apply for welfare, child, uh, uh, you know, WIC, uh, 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 you know, one of the things that you apply for, uh, disability. And then they would say, well, who's the father of the child? And then the state would come back and uh, ding you. Well, she's actually um, planning to put, like, that she doesn't know who is, who is the father on the birth certificate. It doesn't matter what she puts on it today. A simple DNA test will resolve this issue. Yeah, I guess it, I guess it will, yeah. But at least for now, it seems... For now, you're off the hook. But uh, don't, you know, don't ever forget that that time bomb is out there. Yeah, yeah, that that is still hanging out there. But, I mean, if she doesn't, you know, go ahead and, and ding me for all this, I mean, what, what do you think my obligations are? None. Okay. Your obligation is whatever the law forces you to be obligated to. Okay. So if she doesn't, then I've pretty much just dodged the bullet. That's my attitude. That works for me. 
out, 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 and 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 use a rubber next time. What are you what are you doing? Well, well uh, oddly enough, she was she was pretty much said that. I mean, she uh, never she believe what. No, no, stop, stop. Never believe what they say. Yeah. Never yeah. ever believe what they say. Yeah, it, 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 was, it was quite a surprise to actually. Did you see the percentage? They, I forget what women's magazine did a survey. Did, the percentage was over thirty percent of women who would lie to their significant other about their ability to get pregnant or whether they're using birth control in order to have a baby if they feel like doing it. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, she she had admitted to having some wild years beforehand and you know not having used condoms and not getting pregnant, and she'd had some. Uh, I guess like hormonal problems, and she had actually. That's what she told you. How do you know that's true? Yeah, that's a good point. But I mean, I was at least willing. At least when I was dating her, I, I actually part of dating her is that you know she comes off as as fairly. Uh, well, clearly, of, you're a bad judge of character because it turned out that she could get pregnant, and she did want to have the kid. Yeah, true. I mean, she said she didn't want she didn't want kids, but now that one she actually had one, she didn't find that it was kind of hard to get rid of it. She didn't want to get pregnant, but huh? now that she was pregnant, she you know, didn't want to get pregnant is not the same as she didn't want to have a baby, or that she wouldn't have a baby. Yeah, it's you. You have to listen to those uh, subtleties in language. Mm -hmm. I, if you ask a woman. And by the way, I ask this question all the time. I say things like, if you got pregnant, when you had an abortion, and I get, if I get the following response, probably, oh, uh, okay, the answer, that, I take that as a no. Okay, see, so what, I, what I got was, she didn't, want, she didn't want to have a kid, but since it was here, she found no reason. Didn't, no well, you didn't reason. ask her that question. You didn't ask her the right question. The question is, if you got pregnant, would you have the baby? Yeah, but I guess with all my ranting and being unhappy about it and whatever, she decided I was not a fit father. And well, she's telling you that this now. was a unilateral She's decision. telling you that now, but if she needs money, uh, you're going to get the hit put on you. Yeah, well, hopefully. Hopefully I can dodge with this bullet. Hopefully you can. Good luck. Andy's in Chicago on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Tom, you're the man. Thank you. Been listening for about nine months and loving every minute of it. Thanks very I, much. Not a problem at all. Just wanted to call let the one guy know that in the state of Illinois, you were right. It's 20% of uh, net take-home for child support for one child. Which, so. by the way, I think is less than California. I think California's 25%. Yeah, it's 25 if you have two children, but 20% if you have one. So, unfortunately, I'm paying, but... I'm being the man, you know, to my child that I need to be. So, trust me, it's never worth the price of admissions, you'd put it. So, it's never right. been worth the price of admissions. So, yeah, really, so, is it worth the 30 seconds of ejaculation you have? No, it wasn't. And I tell her that every time I pick my daughter up, it was not <laughs> worth that kind of, you know, trouble. I'm going, actually, I'm going next weekend to get the little sip snip and won't have that problem ever again. So, it's, you know doing the right thing for my situation. So I don't want any more children. I got my daughter. I love her, but I don't want, you know, don't want to have to pay $600 more a month to some other broad for, you know, like you said, 30 minutes of excitement and, you know, then throw it to the curb. So, you know, go around, have my fun, and, you know, not have to worry about, you know, paying any more money. Now, Andy, on another note, Bears Saints next weekend. Who's going to win that one? Oh, Bears will take it by seven. Bears will take it by seven, Tom. By seven? Can I take that? Can I take that to the bank? Yes, you can. Oh yeah, you can. I, I've already got two hundred right on it. It's that really? one. Really? Yep. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I already got two hundred right on it. And actually, at work here, we got a bet. We think it's going to be Bears Colts in the Super Bowl, and yeah, and everybody's picking the Colts. I'm going to go with the Bears. So. By the way, uh, by the way, um, I personally, yeah. I think I think Peyton Manning is going to choke again. Do you seriously? Yes, I do. He's gonna choke. He's not gonna get. He's, <laughs> he's not. He's gonna be New England, and possibly the Bears, but it is not going to be Indianapolis, in my opinion. Oh, that's. I mean, who knows? It's you know, nobody in the Manning family has ever gone to the Super Bowl. Oh, well, hey, I'm not a big football fan, so you know, I don't really. It's one of those where you know, I like to bet just to kind of stir the pot, as you say, and you know, just to create a little controversy. So. 
But I think the Bears will be able to beat New England. I do like that time. Tank Johnson, though. I'll tell you what, I saw the game uh, this weekend. I liked him. Oh, he was he was doing good. Musa Muhammad could step up just a little bit, but, I mean, hey, you know what? We all have our bad days, and, you know, that's how they come. So, so yeah, I'm hoping, you know, I, I hope we'd be able to take New England. So I'm going to try and get some tickets tomorrow at 10 o'clock. So hopefully I'll be there Sunday. Good luck, Andy. Thank you, Tom. Appreciate it. Appreciate the call. You too. Tom like it. 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. You guys are sick. Is, is this how you make your money? Yes, it is. Oh, that is so funny. You're really working hard, aren't you? Yes. The Tom Likas Show. From Los Angeles, it's the Tom Likas Show at 1-800-5800-TOM. If she gets pregnant, you ask about the abortion. She says no. Are you obligated to hang around or tell her your plans? No. Pay the bill and get the hell out of it. Don't have to be there. Ingrid on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hi. Hi. Hi, Tom. Hi. Hi. I was just hi. Hi. I was just listening to your show, and I totally agree with you. And I totally agree that that happens a lot. But it kind of seems like your debate is totally one-sided, and I really think that they ought to do more uh, education in high school and train these guys to, like, not let their sexual emotions take over, you know what I mean? Because in the long run, you you pay. You know what I mean? What do you mean by sexual emotions? Well, I mean, like, it's both-sided, you know? I have a 15-year-old son, and he wants a girlfriend real bad. I do not want him to have a girlfriend. And he sees his other friends with girlfriends, and so he's, like, really wants a girlfriend, and girls are trouble. Girls are trouble at that age. Let's face it. And so I think that's where it begins, kind of, you know. If you educate them that young and tell them this is the consequences, this is what happens, I think a lot of people, you know, think they're in love and fall in love, and that's just like stages through ages. You know what I'm saying? I do. And so I just, I I understand, but I, I agree with you, but I just feel like it's it's so anti-woman, you know, and, and I know girls can, be, men need to start being a little bit smarter, I guess I'm trying to say. Well, that's why I speak the way I do. Uh-huh. Uh, uh-huh. Clearly, uh, you know, because uh, women have the upper hand uh, legally. Uh, right. You know, many men uh, don't think about that before they start having sex, and uh, right. I'm and no prude. I tell God, right. have sex. I use condoms 100% of the time. That's it. Right, right. And that's what they need to learn. And they don't need to think, oh, well, it won't happen this time. You know what I mean? Because I think a lot of them... Oh, I think a lot of women think that. The ones who are right. never on birth control. And those are the ones who want to have babies. Right. And, and I think maybe sometimes they don't even want to have a baby. They just kind of... See this man, maybe he has a good job, maybe he's what they want or whatever they think. They think by having a baby, they'll be able to hang on to it. Right, exactly. And Mm -hmm. kids should know that that's what happens. And so it's it's good that you talk to the young kids like that because I don't think they do a lot of that educating in school. They do about AIDS and rubbers. They're handing them out right and left, but do you think the kids are taking them? I don't, you know. Well, some probably do. Uh, I know I have. Um, that's good. That's really good. And I know when I was in school, they, they didn't even, they, they gave you a sex education class and everybody thought that was funny. Oh, that's weird. Oh, you're taking that. You know what I mean? Yeah. And it, it's good. Every kid should take that. I agree with you. Thank you, Ingrid. Julie on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hi. I love your show. Thank you. Uh, I'm calling you because um, I am a mother of two. I'm 43, and um, I asked the father if I could have these children. We had been together for a while, but we weren't compatible to have a really long-term relationship. But as I got older, I I asked him, and um, the first one, she's four years old, and he agreed. He does give me money for her daycare. I don't ask him for anything else. And the second one, he didn't really want. But I have a son now who's four months old. Does he pay for Does he pay for the kid, the second kid too? Um, I told him if he would let me have another one because I wanted to have the same father, I wouldn't ask him for anything. And I just want to tell the men out there that although I really meant that, I find it very difficult with daycare for two. And he he pays me um, 
just a little bit, just to help me out. But I really, really wanted to do it on my own. But women will find when you have a baby, it's tougher than you think. There's so many more expenses. Well, it is. But why would anyone expect that you, the guy did you a favor by impregnating you upon your request? Exactly. And, I, and, I, and he, he's probably listening right now. And um, he knows. He trusted me. I guess maybe he shouldn't have trusted me, but he trusted me. But when I said I wouldn't ask him for anything, I wouldn't. And I really didn't. I really don't. He's offered to help me because I'm, it's tough having two kids at daycare. But he only gives me a couple of hundred, which I really appreciate. And I wish I didn't have to take it from him. So there are exceptions. And, and if he stopped giving it to you, would you go after him? No. I wouldn't. You know, I really wouldn't because I've been, because I'm an older mother, I've been independent for most of my life. I've never been married. And I, I don't think it's fair. I wouldn't. I really do appreciate that he let me have two children. I really wouldn't go after him for it, and he knows that. So there are exceptions, but men should watch out because women will find it's, it's expensive having two kids, and they might come after you. <laughs> exactly. Thank you, Julie. Thank you. Can you take me out with the bong hit? Of course I can. Margarita on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. It is a pleasure talking to you. I agree with you. How are you doing? Do you care? I do, I do. You're awesome. Thank you. You know, I want to give you my opinion. I think that women, when they decide to get pregnant to keep the relationship going or keeping the guy, and they're making a stupid mistake. I am so sorry. They're making a mistake. First of all, because having a baby is not a one person's decision. It belongs to two, okay? And they have to make sure that the guy also wants the baby. Otherwise, they don't have the right of getting pregnant. They always well, actually, to actually, to be, body. to be technically right here, uh, they do have the right. And, in fact, the woman has the right to expect the man to pay under the law. No, it was their decision when it should have been a, the decision of two people. Yes, but remember, How rights rights have to do with laws. I mean, the, 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 but they gave them the right because they fought for supposedly that right. But you know what? No, it's not like that. It doesn't work like that. I'm not going to have a baby just because I want to keep the man and force him to give me money and force him to stay close to me, or because it's his baby and he should stay close to me. Well, no, it doesn't work that way. My, well, it shouldn't work that way, but guess what? By law, it does. Because I was pretty dumb when they did that law. I and agree. It, that it's a woman's body and it's her decision. Well, no, it shouldn't be. It's not her decision. It's two people's decision. No. Not only one. Well, I wish that were true, but it's not. I know. I know. It just makes me very upset. But there's a lot of women out there who are getting pregnant because, oh, they want to keep the guy close to them. And then they just give them hell. Yes. There's a whole bunch of other guys that have the baby and they're, first of all, like, oh, yeah, we should have a baby, honey. And, and this and that just to get what they want instead of being truthful and say, you know what? I just want to F you and that's it. I don't right. want any responsibility. I don't want anything. I totally agree with you, Margarita. Thank you for the call. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. Let's say hello to Mike on the Tom Likas Show. Hello, Father. Son, how are you? Um, couldn't be better. Sounds good to me. I uh, moved out here about a year and a half ago, and I only wish that you were broadcasting out on the East Coast. Would have saved me a lot of time and headaches. No doubt. And I'd just like to tell you, I uh, just got out of a six-month relationship. It was pretty hot and heavy from the first day. And Of course, at 22, you do not need a relationship. You need to get laid. Yes, yes. And uh, that was actually my intentions with this girl. But uh, the first night that we hung out, we got I got laid. And then right after that, she uh, asked me to be with her and that she wanted me to uh, be her boyfriend and all of this. And her uh, guy who she's dating now came into the picture a couple months ago, and <clears throat> I didn't think much of it. And then, you know, no matter what you say, or no matter what women say, 
like you, your view, uh, it's always not the case. And so what ended up happening is she uh, broke up with me uh, on our six months. She cheated on me. And now uh, I find out that after only two months of dating with this guy, she's going to get married and is pregnant. And she's going to keep the kid. Oh, you're, you're, you're a very lucky man. Oh, am I ever. But you see, that's why I tell you, you don't need a relationship. You just need to get laid. Yes. Stop with having the relationships. Yeah, there's, there's really no um, positive things in having a relationship. You know, uh, all she wanted was money, and if I didn't spend enough money on her, there was an issue. But then when she had money, she could spend it however she pleased. And if I, you know, pointed out, hey, you know, why are you getting mad at me if I don't spend a hundred bucks on you? And then, you know, if I ask you to, you know, spend twenty dollars on me, it's an issue. But it, it, it's funny because uh, she's having this kid just because her future husband is in the Marines and she will be able to uh, have uh, benefits, income, and not right. be able to work. <laughs> it's all about the Benjamins, baby. That it is. So it is time for you to stop. Can't you have sex without having a girlfriend? Oh, yeah. I've then, done it before. Then it's time to do it again. Oh, yeah. The Tom like this show. 1-800-5-800-TOM. That is our telephone number. Ryan on the Tom like this show. Hello. Hey, Tom. How are you doing? Great. Uh, thanks for spreading the knowledge. I was just uh, curious on your opinion on one thing I thought I thought I heard you say. You were talking about uh, your legal responsibilities if uh, you get in a situation where you're having a child. Yeah. But, uh, but you don't think in any way, shape, or form, if you were put in that predicament that you shouldn't uh, give that child some kind of emotional support or be the child more I'm not required to. Ever? I don't want to be a parent. Every woman I have sex with knows I don't want to be a parent. But then you're, you're, you're kind of actively producing the person who's going to rob you in the future. Somebody that's going to, I mean, it's statistically wise, children that... Well, it must be one of a very large uh, group of uh, future carjackers of America. Yeah, but why contribute to it? I mean, you should... You should... Well, uh, what's done is done, but I, I have no interest in being a parent. Yeah. It's it's just it's sad that you ruin it. You kind of ruin it an entire life. I know it's not. It wasn't your choice. I'm not ruining anything. I said I don't want to have a kid. If she has a kid against my will, but you should have wrapped it up then, right? Now, even if look, I've wrapped it. But you know, condoms are not 100 percent effective. Yeah, they slip. They crack. They le they're pretty effective. Yeah, well, so to get a cork in there, okay. But the yeah. point is that uh, they're not as effective as the pill and other methods of birth control. But yeah, then you make sure that you're uh, involved with somebody that's on you the pillow. You can't. You were never you're sure right. of that. That's my point. You never know. They lie. You take your best shot at preventing a pregnancy. You always use a condom. And uh, if she decides to press ahead and have a kid without your consent, um, you know, I'll, I'll send a check as required by law. But I don't want any involvement. None. Our email address is my name. It's Tom at BlowMeUpTom.com. You got that? Tom at BlowMeUpTom.com. The Tom Likas Show.